<laughs> Hello. We decided to do a quick video today about um, how to begin your meal prep and how like quick and, and simple and, and fairly cheap it can be to begin um, with, with meal prepping. And we often get asked like what containers do you use and where do you get them from and um, you know I've even been asked where we get our measuring cups and spoons and stuff from so uh, this is we're gonna share that with you today and meal prep does require time but the one chunk the big chunk of time that you spend in the one day like Kyle and I will spend a, a big chunk of time on one day preparing all our meals but that's it the rest of the week it's just quick and simple things like um, taking your containers and microwaving them or defrosting them and everything else is quick like throwing egg whites in a pan or opening up a can of tuna there's really nothing no other big major cooking that you have to do the rest of the week and that leaves no excuses because everything is already prepared yep and when you're so, hungry you got it ready to go exactly there all we have to do is pull those out of the freezer and microwave them and we're good to go so what we use um, cookie sheets for cooking we throw all of our frozen veggies on the trays and just roast them in the oven um, Oh, I didn't put cooking spray here, but you just spray it with the cooking spray and throw it in. That's and we it. we prefer the taste of the roasted veggies, but you, you can, by all means you can do it quick. You can do it microwave. You yeah, can um, we boil. We used to boil them. Boil them. You can steam them. Um, you can do whatever you would like. Yeah, but anyway, for us it's super quick. Twenty minutes, um, and they're good to go on the pan. We also throw all our chicken on here after we season them. So um, you'll need a couple of cookie sheets and obviously you can get those anywhere. We get ours at Walmart for on sale when they go on sale for like five to ten dollars. Yeah, so just a couple cookie sheets, roast your meat, roast your and veggies. Get, obviously get like the non-stick kind, like it's worth it to spend a couple extra dollars to get the non-stick. Yeah. Um, and some, we also like to cover our trays with tin foil and then spray the tin foil then the chicken comes off really really easy the veggies we just throw on cooking we put cooking spray and then put our veggies on but cover your tray with tin foil um, and that'll make it a lot easier to remove your chicken and it'll save you a lot of cleanup on your pans also containers um, we bought these from the dollar store and they're not like super great quality we do have to replace them every once in a while but these things, they do go through the ringer. Like we've, <laughs> we've frozen and unfrozen them. I've dropped them. We've been using these for two or three years now. Yep, and this holds exactly what you would need it for. You know, your meat, your cup of rice or whatever, and your veggies, and it's perfect. Yeah, and what we do, uh, I've mentioned this before, but what we do is we have tons of clear containers and two different color lids. The two different color lids are for whose meals they are. So Kyle's red and I'm blue. There's no reason why I'm, I have blue and Kyle has red. It's just so that we can tell because he eats more protein and more carbs than I do on certain days. And then some days I eat different carbs or different proteins. So it's easier to tell whose is whose. That way when I'm defrosting, or when we're microwaving, we know which one is ours to pull out. So, so. yeah, and every single dollar store probably where you live will carry these. Yep. Um, the other thing we use are measuring cups. Um, some of these are from Walmart and some of them are from the dollar store. It doesn't really matter. Um, this one is like four years old this the rest of them have broken but this one has stuck and it's our favorite half cup to use but um, what we do is we measure everything out after into our containers so we rely on measuring cups to you know give us the the accuracy that we need um, for cooking rice because what we we do is we have um, carbs veggies and protein in our containers so our veggies and our protein are cooked on the trays and this is a black and decker rice cooker this is super old this is like 
10 years old. And that will save you your know, life for time. <laughs> and it's, you can go get one for 20 or $30 at Walmart. Yep. And you put all your rice in it, it cooks it, you just leave it basically. You stir it every once in a while and then you have perfectly cooked rice and all you have to do um, is put the rice in, put the water in, turn it on, plug it in first, turn it on and that's it. Yep. Then it, it cooks itself. Um, the other thing that we use is a food scale. You can get these pretty much at any grocery store, at any department store, uh, Walmart, for, and you can spend anything from five dollars to hundreds of hundreds, dollars. Yeah. Now, yeah, like you don't this need one, you don't need a fancy one like this that tells you calories and macros. No, and and, stuff. and if I were to go out and buy another scale now, I actually wouldn't get one with all of the like. I wouldn't need this exactly stuff. this yeah. fancy um, a digital scale is a lot easier than I used to use a non um, a non digital scale and it was so hard to read and it wasn't very accurate this digital is more accurate so if you're gonna spend money on a scale um, definitely get a digital one but it doesn't need to have all this fancy stuff um, basically you just need grams and you need ounces yep. I use grams sometimes for the starches and the carbs and I use the ounces for the meat so um, this one is a it's by uh, kitchen gurus it's called the perfect portions food scale I bought this from Bed Bath & Beyond I think last summer and the, the price is still on it was 50 bucks um, but that's because it's a fancy one so you you can spend like I said 10 bucks From 10 bucks Walmart. up to probably hundreds yeah so that's what it looks like and what I like about this one um, is that you turn it on and you can put your container on it but so that you don't get the weight of the container you just clear it and then you whatever you put in it will measure so it'll just weigh whatever you put in it and it'll take away the container exactly weight. and I love that that's so much better because before on my non-digital scale I used to have to weigh my plate and then subtract um, the plate weight from the meat weight so that I knew how many ounces of meat I was measuring this does it for you so um, digital is is better if you're gonna do that um, and this one has a spot here where you can switch from grams to ounces anytime you want by pushing that button. So that's that's it. And then what we do is we cook it all, we lay it out on the table, and then what I do is I put out, we each have six of these a week. So I lay them out on the counter with the, the lid underneath so I know how many ounces of meat and carbs to put in each one. And then they come out looking like that. And these are, are frozen for us because... Because we make them all in advance. And the best thing is, it doesn't matter how much food you make. Because if you have extra, I just weigh it all out, put it in the proper containers and freeze it. And then pull it out for the next week and just add whatever's missing. So if I only have extra chicken, I just weigh out four ounces for Kyle, three ounces for me, put those containers in the freezer and add on the next cooking day, meal prep day, I add in the rice and the beans or um, green beans we're eating right now, the rice and the veggies or the sweet potatoes and veggies that we're eating that week. I just add those in. So yeah, it, you never have to waste your food. You just throw it in the freezer and it keeps. And we have thawed and rethawed. <laughs> Um, thawed, frozen, like the food stays fresh when you do it this way too, which is another thing that that saves you money um, and it saves you time of cooking others like stuff over and over again. Yeah, like a yeah. little bit of a little bit of time in prepping guys will save your life it, down the long haul and also will give you the results you're looking for. You have to yeah. start meal prepping if you're gonna, if you're serious about long term weight loss. And, and like it doesn't take many tools at all. A few dollars at the dollar store, you need just a few things and some time and that's it. Set aside a couple of hours and 
we do things at the same time. Like you can stick your chicken in the oven and get your rice cooker set, uh, set up, lay out all your containers, and sometimes we'll watch a movie while we're waiting for stuff to cook. Um, sometimes we'll do a little bit of work. So whatever, you can multitask too. It's not like you, because the, the cooking is so easy with the rice cooker and throwing your chicken in the oven and your veggies in the oven, you don't have to babysit anything. You don't have to work yep. hard. You just toss it in, wait till it's done, and then that's when you measure all your food out. So yeah, it's, it saves you time, money, and will help you get results and keep it off like Kyle and I. Yeah, so we hope that this helps. If you guys have any more questions about meal prep, feel free to leave them below and we'll do the best we can to answer them and don't forget to check us out on Instagram because sometimes we show you different meals or um, show you some of our meal prep containers or whatever um, you might get some other ideas on there and the big one don't forget don't do it you know about this my fist of doom that's what it is don't forget to like and subscribe because you'll get this. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Bye, friends. See you guys.